one way that you can sort of help people is to get them to just experience it more. Uh, you know, gratitude journals in part, the goal is not that people are bad at gratitude, it's that they're not taking time to attend to the things that they're lucky for that should make them feel gratitude. And when they do that, when you can direct their attention towards that goal, you can see improvements for health and, and well-being. I think of all very similarly, like an emotion that when people feel it, it's not that they necessarily need to be trained. Um, so the question is, can you make people get people in situations really where they'd be more likely to feel it? And with the pandemic, I know that's been really hard, but but getting out in nature, that might be what does it for one person going to a concert or listening to their favorite music might be what does it for another person. So really, when I advise people to try and build more compassion into their life, that's one of the ways that I'm sort of trying to train them. It's not that they can't experience this emotion. It's that they may be so busy and stressed that they don't take the time to do it. You're not going to see a beautiful sunset if you're rushing home from work and looking at the ground. And I also think that people have this notion that the kinds of activities that make them feel all like going out in nature, going to museums, going, traveling, going to concerts, those things are luxuries that are what you do if you have extra time after you're done all of your work. And so I always try and push forward this idea that you need to actually build them into your routine so that you can put yourself in the right place to have those experiences. And then you can kind of just let them happen to you. And if you know what makes you feel all, it'll just happen because that's kind of the way like awe functions. It's very all consuming and absorbing in that moment. You know, if I walk slowly and I really look around, I can find awe in lots of things, especially now that fall's coming with the colors changing. I can spend a while really absorbed in looking at a specific tree or at the vista of beautiful trees and their colors. So I think whatever that is for you, that's what I always recommend. Find that way to build it in. Everybody has different things that make them feel awe. But even 15 minutes here and there to go for a walk, which is good for all sorts of other reasons. But in part, I think, because it induces awe. I mean, it's no surprise to me after studying this emotion that it's implicated or at least present in a lot of the things we know are good for health and well-being, like being out in nature, like engaging with art, um, being in big groups with other people, having spiritual or religious experiences. So in some ways, I see awe as that active ingredient that unites across those different experiences that explains why they might have similarly beneficial outcomes for health and well-being. You know, if you really love art, you need to make time to go to places where we know there's amazing out, uh, art house, like the Royal Ontario Museum or the AGO or wherever that is. So I think that's what I would say is budgeting in that time so that you can really experience that emotion savor that experience, that will, I think, if you're somebody who's skeptical about awe, I would say from that angle alone, from prioritizing your health and well-being, it's worth it. But it's also a really enjoyable experience to feel awe. People enjoy it. They like writing about it in our studies. They like talking about it. Some awe experiences are transformative. Some are sort of these more daily experiences, but they're still extremely memorable. That's one of the features of awe is that people remember when they feel that emotion. I think part of its function is to say, hey, this thing in your environment is important, pay attention to it. It's, it doesn't fit within the way you normally see the world. It's bigger, grander than that. And so, yeah, I mean, I think that it's, it's a really important emotion for us to, to understand better and to prioritize. <laughs>